my YouTube channel. If you're new here, I'm Jess, and this is my channel, A Sprinkling of Awareness and Positivity. I don't know how you found me, but I'm so thankful that you're here on my video. So I hope that by the end of the video, you're able to give me a thumbs up and also hit the subscribe button if you like my content, of course. Today is just a really, really quick awareness video about the differences between costochondritis and Tietze syndrome. Now, I personally have never met anyone else with Tietze syndrome. I have met other people with costochondritis because costochondritis is much more common, um, but not with Tietze syndrome. So if anyone watching this also suffers with Tietze syndrome, please drop me a comment in the comment box because it would be lovely to talk to someone that knows exactly what it is and what it feels like and just to get to know someone else that has the same condition that I do. So before we get into today's video, obviously I am talking about this topic because I personally suffer with one of the conditions um, and not many people know about costochondritis or Tietze syndrome and that is why I'm doing today's video to get that awareness out there and hopefully you will be able to take something away with you and yeah that's what this channel is for just informative knowledge that you can take away with you and hopefully bring to somebody else. Costochondritis and Tietze syndrome have very very similar symptoms and all it is is pains in the sternum area so in your breastbone and the pains are they can either be dull or sharp not always very sharp and my pains do last quite a long time um, but with costochondritis it is mainly to do with pain in that area um, one of the similarities to start with is that both with costochondritis and Tietze syndrome, it is mainly common that the pain is always on the left side of the body. Um, don't ask me why, it is just the way it is. I personally only suffer with my pains on the left hand side. I never ever have pains on my right. Um, with costochondritis, it is just purely the pains. Now the pains can be excruciating. Um, and if you Google um, costochondritis or Tietze syndrome, you will see that they are often mistaken for a heart attack um, because that is the level of pain that is caused. The pains come from the back and they always shoot round the side and it is always on the third or fourth rib. Um, with the difference, the only difference with costochondritis or Tietze syndrome is that alongside the pains, with Tietze syndrome, your whole chest swells. Um, I personally mainly get major swelling along my sternum joint, so along the breastbone, uh, and it is quite a noticeable swelling. Um, so I always know that the minute I get a shooting pain, my chest is going to swell up. Um, so, so a lot of people just get the pains along here. So this is where your third and your fourth rib is. And the pains will always come from the back, shoot round, and they will always stay right round into the middle. So it's always just this area. Um, and like I said earlier, the pain is only ever associated with the left hand side and not the right. Um, syndrome that just swells up. With costochondritis or Tietze syndrome normally they clear up within a couple of hours or a couple of days and that is it. So you have that inflammation. Um, so some of the main causes for costochondritis are minor trauma or pulling it when you're doing exercise um, mine was caused by uh, just a trauma. I say that it can only last a couple of days, a couple of weeks. Um, I have had Tietze syndrome since I was below 10 years old. 
I was diagnosed with TC syndrome at 13. But in the run up to being diagnosed, I was getting these chest pains. I was, I was young and it was just, I was getting to the point where I couldn't move when I had the pains because it was just excruciating. Um, went to a normal NHS hospital and they couldn't find anything wrong. Um, and it took years to get diagnosed. I can't remember how many years, I would need to ask my mum, but it, I know for a fact it took years to get diagnosed. Um, I was then transferred over to a private hospital for Kamana and they diagnosed me within two days. Um, so I had all the tests done, had the scans done and they picked it up straight away and they, they knew from the get-go it was Tsi syndrome and they explained the difference between costochondritis and Tsi syndrome and why I in fact had Tsi syndrome and not costochondritis and that was purely because of the swelling so they knew straight away that the difference here was I was swelling up whereas someone with costochondritis first of all doesn't have the pains over an excessive amount of years um, so straight away they knew it was Tsi syndrome. If you go onto Google and look up Tsi syndrome, it is actually a rare disorder. Um, I think it's actually actually comes under a rare disease, um, but obviously it's not a disease, it's a disorder. Um, but it is very rare. It is rare and costochondritis is very common. Um, so of course I would have the rare, the rare one. That is just me, isn't it? I would say I get flare-ups maybe a proper flare-up it depends on if I've been doing exercise or if I'm overstressed um, but it can also be I can also get the pains if I haven't slept properly so if I'm not laying straight or if I'm laying in a certain position um, certainly picking up heavy stuff as well it, there's so many different triggers um, that can cause costochondritis or TC syndrome. Um, so if you do suffer with it, it's very good to sort of pinpoint what are your triggers, therefore that you can pinpoint and not do them certain things. With regards to medication, I am not on any medication for my TC syndrome, purely because I don't have the pains every single day. Um, and over the years, you've got to think I've I've had TC syndrome since I was a young child. I'm now 24. Um, so over the years, I've learned exactly how to deal with the pain. So if I get the pain, I know what breathing exercises to do. I know what positions to lay in. I know what I can do to get through that pain because there is no getting rid of it. Um, so once the pains are there, that's it. You sort of have to just get through it. Um, hot water bottles do help and wee tea bags are an absolute lifesaver um, so if you do ever suffer with um, the costochondritis or if you are a Tsi syndrome sufferer wee tea bags are the one they really do help um, but medication wise I'm not on anything um, and like I said I don't know anyone else with Tsi syndrome that I can say I know is on medication um, I was offered, um, there is injections that you can have um, and they do go straight into the sternum area. Um, I'm too young at the time to have the injections and I didn't like the side effects that would come with them. Therefore, I have just decided to live with the condition as it is. Um, not many people know that I do suffer with it. Uh, close family, close friends do. Um, but it isn't something, I'm not an ambassador for awareness of it, so it's just sort of something that I live with. Um, I suppose you could say it's an invisible illness, um, but it is chronic. It's a syndrome that I've got is chronic because I've had it over an excess amount of years. Um, usually it just, it does clear up, um, but just in some cases it can turn chronic and in my case it did. Okay, so 
just to quickly round it up, I said this would be a really quick video because uh, there isn't actually too much to talk about with it. So the main difference between costochondritis and Tietze syndrome is Tietze syndrome includes a swelling of the sternum area and chest area, whereas they both include really sharp or dull pains that come round from the back, round to the front, and it is always on the left hand side. Um, and that's really all that there is to say about it really, uh, but it is a condition that isn't really spoken about, not many people know what it is. Um, if I'm at the doctors and someone looks at my records and they say what condition is it that you have um, and I have to spell it out and the amount of times I have said T-E-I-T-Z-E, -E, Tietze syndrome and they go ah right the costochondritis thing. Um, and that is always the response I get. Or if someone says to me, why are you holding your left hand side? Now I do get that quite regularly is, why are you holding your left hand side? It's because I'm having a pain or, um, but you do just get through it day by day. Same as any invisible illness, um, we do just get through it. And I know many people with invisible illnesses and it's something that we do need to talk about because there is invisible disabilities and it's just a topic that does need to be spoken about and it is something that I'm going to talk about more in depth in a later video. Um, it's just with this costochondritis and Tietze syndrome video there isn't too much to say. Um, straightforward, it's very easy to understand. Um, for anyone that says oh that's a complicated, it's not. It's very straightforward. Anyone that suffers with costochondritis or Tietze syndrome goes through absolutely excruciating pain. Um, it isn't very nice. It can literally cripple you. Um, I have been on the floor crying in tears. Um, it's awful. Um, but mainly it does clear up. But if you're unlucky like me and you do have it over years and years and it does be become chronic, um, it is just very unfortunate, unfortunately. Um, but there is ways to live with it and there is ways that we can manage the pain and I have most certainly, I've blogged about it. So if I have blogged about it on my blog, www.jesstuffery.com. Um, so I do speak about it a bit more on there, but that's all that there is to say today. It's very straightforward. Um, it is what it is and uh, if you do suffer with it um, and you want to comment below I would love to know if you suffer with it chronically or you have suffered with it just in parts of your life please do comment below because it'd be lovely to talk to you and find out obviously your experience with it thank you for watching today's video I know I said it was going to be very short and it has been kept very very short today um, and I hope you enjoyed it. It's very short, sweet, to the point. Um, and I hope you can take something away with you. Um, and I will see you back here on Wednesday.